In this video, I want to show you how to convert your old laptop or PC into a smart TV easily and simply. And the best part is that we can give a second chance to these types of devices, which we already consider obsolete. First of all, I'm going to make it very clear that this is a tutorial specifically for these types of devices. However, we are going to convert these types of things into a device with smart TV or Android TV. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, what we are going to do is in the description of the video, I'm going to leave the file as such so that you can convert it to a PC. Simply click on download or save, and from there, click on save in Chrome, if you use Chrome. And once here, we are going to download another program called Rufus, which I also leave in the description. I simply recommend that you download the one that says 4.9p, simply open it, and go to the file manager. Once here, we simply click on run as administrator and then we will look for the file, which in this case is called a 9. Next, we will need a USB drive, preferably at least 8 gigabytes. So, what we are going to do is simply connect it so that it detects us. And once here, we simply click on the USB prompts and click on start. We click on accept everything that appears and wait for it to complete its process. This may take about 5 minutes. Once finished, we simply disconnect our USB drive and we are going to start the process on our PC, which is what you need to do. Well, pay attention to this part, because if you want to keep the Windows operating system, follow these steps, or if you want to completely eliminate Windows and want to use the computer only with the Android operating system, well, so that you can turn it into a smart TV, go to the minute that the screen is showing you. So, from there, we go to the file manager and go to the part that says control panel. Here, let's look for hard drive and go to where it says create and format hard drive partitions. Once here, we're going to reduce the volume. We need at least 10 gigabytes of space, which is the minimum we're going to need. And we're going to write 12,000. That's equivalent to about 10 and a half GB. So, we simply click on reduce. Let's wait a moment for it to reduce transparently. And from there, we're going to click on where it says new simple volume. So, one is here, we simply choose, uh, we click on a letter, ta 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 -tan, everything normal, and we're going to write here, for example, Android TV. So, once finished, we're going to do the next step. And once here, we're going to click on, we're going to restart the computer. Once the PC is turned off, what we are going to do is connect our USB drive and from there we are going to turn it on and press, depending on the PC you have, the escape key, F7 or F12, to be able to enter the boot menu. In my case it is F12, pressing it several times. A moment for it to load and from there we are going to choose the one that says USB or the device that you want. You can even say Android, I don't know what, as it appeared in the name of the drive. Once here, we go to the part that says installation. We wait for it to run. 
Once here, that is clear. If you want to completely eliminate windows, then, um, format everything and simply choose whichever one has more capacity, but, since in my case I am going to have dual boot, that is, to keep windows and at the same time I am going to have that other operating system, then I am simply going to choose the one that says 11.72, the one that had the previous partition. So, I simply click here and give it yes and wait for the installation to be done. There you will be asked if we want to install it. Yes, this is so that we can say have the menu with a dual operating system in case we want to start it in Windows or if we want to start it in Android TV. Professor, as I say, this is only optional. If you want to eliminate it completely, then do so. Once here, we wait for the menu to appear to be able to start Android TV right away. Once here, we simply click on Android TV and press OK with the Enter key. We wait for it to start. It can take up to 10 minutes the first time. Now, then we will use the keys and obviously we will configure everything as it should be, as if it were a T-Bot. In my case, I will click on jump, I will choose my network and all that and then I will come back. And to navigate, this already looks like a television. We wait for it to configure itself and that's it. It will most likely take a while because they are going to download some updates and apart from that we must enter our Google account. It can be any. When it happens for some reason they are updating, simply click on the icon to go back and simply continue. From there they will ask us for a Google account and we will continue. With that, you can enter the Google account that you have or the personal account. Once here, simply click on continue and wait and, well, accept the terms and conditions. Ah, uh, location, well in my case I am not going to enter it, but if you want you can enter it. Ah, uh, I am not going to give it like that type of improvements, but that is simply optional. It is up to you to decide if you want to activate Google Assistant or not. In my case I am not going to activate it and simply click on continue. It is up to you to decide if you want to enter a personalized name. In my case I am going to choose Android TV. And here they give you a quick interruption to see how it is handled and that's it. Wait a moment for me to do some final touches and that's it. Once here, as you can see, this is the interface. What can we do about it? Since we've already converted our old computer into a smart TV, we can download Netflix, we can download Amazon Prime Video, we can watch our favorite series. As you can see, I'm going to install Netflix. We can also download games, obviously for Android TV. And to make it even more fun, you can get an Android TV remote control, either from Temu or AliExpress, and you can connect it via Bluetooth if your PC has Bluetooth. You can also use other streaming platforms. If you're a little more capable, you can install Modus TV and with that you have Netflix for free. In my case, I'm going to have this because at night when I want to watch a movie or series, I can turn it into a trendy way, but you'll have a bigger screen. You can connect it via HDMI and you'll be able to enjoy it however you like. Not to mention that since my laptop has a touch screen, I can use it much more calmly and comfortably. Which I really like. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Let me know by giving it a like, subscribing, 
activating the bell on all of them, and I'll see you next time. M.